This is the volcano we're gonna climb in two days. This is Akatenango. This is Fuego. This is the base camp where we're gonna hike and spend the night. And there's a second hike right on this point. You can hike to Fuego to get a close-up of the eruptions. We're a little bit nervous about the hike. It's quite steep and long, and with the kids especially. We've heard a lot of mixed things with whether we should take kids or not. Um, I think most people think we're crazy to take kids. Um, but it's something that we really, really want to see, so hopefully all goes well. And uh, we are renting two horses for the climb up, so hopefully we can like rotate their butts on horses and make it better. What do we want to do today? Like a volcano. <gasps> like a volcano. Are you more excited or nervous? Excited. Are you nervous though? Yeah. <laughs> We've got them packed. Okay, good. Don't you worry. <laughs> what did, did what? <laughs> the Fuego Talkies. I packed him. No, wait. Because what's the plan, worry. Jacob? We, we open the Fuego Talkies while we watch Fuego erupt. Alright guys, here we go. Yeah? How long are we hiking? Oh, like seven hours. Today, I'm gonna be in charge of organizing you guys tour. I was out here last night and the temperature dropped somewhere around like zero degrees Celsius. And also we got hail up here, ice. So please do not have a bad warmness down. It is very important. When I was out here last night, I had with me a thermal pants, rain pants, thermal shirt, fleece jacket, jumper, windbreaker, hot and gloves, a scarf, and even I thought it was a little bit chill. And we are used to the cold. There is places where it's all sandy. You will take a step forward and you're gonna go down to And this volcano, we are gonna go through four stations. First, we have the farm, cloudy forest, pine trees, a little bit of sand, a huge rock, then base camp. William. William, what do you got over there? A, ho a whole box of puppies. Thanks. Look at these puppies. They're so cute. Can we keep one? Can we keep one? Maybe put one in your backpack. Got it? No, 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 <laughs> William, you gotta spread your legs, buddy. <laughs> oh, we go? All right, let's go, guys. Are you so happy to ride a horse? All right, now we start up the mountain. This is our first break. Yes. I'm out of breath. How you doing? Uh, it's gonna be a long hike up. <laughs> what are we half an hour in? It's so sandy that you just eat everybody's dust. Ben, what do you think up there? Is that gonna be easier? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, Jacob's ben, but you climbing have to on. on tight at first it feels like it's... This is break number two, about 45 minutes in. And it is very steep. Jacob, are you scared? It's just like a motorbike that eats food. Brianne's already feeling nauseous and, and dizzy and uh, yeah, she's not doing good, but she's pushing on. Altitude is, climbs very quickly here.
This isn't the volcano yet. Definitely harder than I thought it would be. This is. <laughs> you had an Oreo and... I have new energy. My Oreo. You feel like you can conquer the world. Oreo yeah, power. It's actually like very, very up and down. you like two minutes, you're like, I'm going to die. I'm never going to make it. And then you're like, oh, I think I can do this. Yeah. <laughs> so we're an hour in and uh, he said we have about five more hours to go. So... I'm feeling pretty good. I got, I got three times the amount of weight in my backpack. <laughs> Birds. Mano de Diablo. See. You see, they're pine trees now. It means we're getting higher. How you doing? Good. You're right here. So yeah. yeah. Did you have fun on the horse? Yeah. I got a lot of cramps. On the horse? Yeah. All right. Turn around. It's very pretty in here. Your legs are so sore. I think it's to the point where you actually have to like will yourself to take the next step now. And see, I find right now easier than... Than earlier? Oh, really? I was so lightheaded and I think an empty stomach. Are you guys wetting? Oh, my oh, shirt is soaked. It's so cold, but we're completely sweated through our shirts that we don't want to put on our sweaters or else we'll sweat through those and then be cold for the night. So it's like... It's probably five degrees right now, or? Yeah. Oh, I can see my breath now. Yeah, you can see your breath. We said lunch. Been walking about 10 minutes, and already I feel like I need a break. On a We've done uh, about almost 700 meters elevation. Dad, show them the horses. And we have another about 500 to go. Felt like we couldn't take another step. We heard a fuego erupt, and now we're excited to get there. It's much louder than it was before, so I feel like we're getting closer, but I know we've got another about 300 meters of elevation yet to climb. Jacob, you look like you're doing pretty good. Yep. That's Feeling strong. Good. The brakes, the brakes on the horse are good, eh? Now we're gonna make up some time. No more crawling for William. Dude, we're staying up till dark to see the lava. So we got another, I think only like 30 minutes. And I think it's less elevation to climb now, so. Wow. And it's pretty 
Indian. Whoa. We are getting close, guys. Are you guys excited to see that? Yeah. <laughs> yep. We can see fuego. We can see fuego over here. Where's this here? This is fuego here, guys. Slowly here, guys. Slippery and kind of steep. Well, very steep. Guys. You see base camp? No. <gasps> Is that our camp? Did we make it? We made it, guys. Oh. Oh. Yay! Oh. Didn't think we would. Oh. This is our camp. Bunch of tents in this hut. And right outside our camp is a campfire is and fuego. Fuego. Oh, I gotta take my backpack off. That was the hardest hike by far of my life. Uh -huh. Thank you. Here, Dad. You mean to see? Well, here and see. Keep an eye on it. Oh! Oh, wow! My hand's my phone. Wow. Sounds like a jet. Mommy, can we go see which one's ours? I think I kind of feel like we're on top of the world. We're so high. We're almost 4,000 meters. Oh, there it goes! Oh! Oh no! Oh no! We'll get another one. Hey, again! Oh! It's still going. Oh, this is a big one. That is not the wind. That one we would have that definitely seen movie. lava if it was nighttime. This is unreal, guys. Well, guys, was that a hard hike? Yeah. <laughs> it was terrible. Worst thing I've ever done. So we're uh, resting and relaxing now and at base camp, at base camp and maybe in uh, an hour or two. I'm gonna go do that. Uh, we are not. Uh, there's another three hours of a hike to get close to Fuego, to get really close to the lava. Okay, I'm going on another three hour hike. It's hard to show on camera just how steep this next part was. There was times where we were actually skiing down in the sand. So coming up made for a very difficult hike. Uh, but it was so beautiful with the sun setting. And then the, one that the moon was already up almost to full height. And yet we were so high that we could still see the sun setting. The clouds made it look like you were looking out over the sea. It was an incredible sight. to go up. <laughs> yeah.
Oh, that's good. I do this one. Golden, I feel sick. Mm-hmm. How'd you sleep? Good. Did you? We have talked. The kids on their list of things that they want to do before we left is they want to eat Fuego Takis while they're watching Fuego erupt. So there's Fuego just erupted. I am. Hockey's are like my life. Hockey's are my life. <laughs> Hockey's are my life, you said. You taste better on Fuego? <laughs> Poor Ben, he's too tired. He's still in bed. We'll save him a couple. Say goodbye, Fuego. Avery. Hasta luego, fuego. Hasta luego, fuego. I did not miss that night. Say goodbye, fuego. Goodbye. Here we go. Back down to the real world. The hike down was really hard. Harder than we had expected. But a different kind of hard. Going up, you're just physically exhausted and out of breath. But going down, it was really hard on your legs and your knees and the ground. The path isn't great and it's kind of just dust and so mm -hmm. the kids were just constantly slipping and falling and needed a lot of help down yeah yeah there were a lot of tears on the way down and a lot of i can't do this anymore why couldn't we have had the horse on the way down too <laughs> <laughs> which maybe we should have a few times i was thinking what were we doing we should have had the horse yeah and I was worried that that would be the memory that the kids had of the volcano was just the grueling hard work at the end and the mm -hmm. tears. But um, already they're saying that it was so worth it. They loved the volcano and I, I feel like they've kind of forgotten how hard it was. Yeah, that hike was incredibly hard. It was so steep and it was relentlessly steep it it never there was never a flat spot it was up the whole way you're hiking and you'd like see a little bit of a a peak and you think maybe it's flat up there but then it's just a switch back to more steep it, it the whole time was steep that my calves were so sore it took about five days for me to recover completely and the the most sore thing was my calves from going up so steep for so long Especially that second hike to Fuego, it was so steep. And you're going down this incredibly steep part and then up to Fuego. And then on the way back, it's like I've already been hiking for, I don't know, nine and a half, ten hours at that point. And then I got to go up this crazy steep part that it ended up being 11 and a half hours of hiking. We did 1,200 meters of elevation, but then I added going down 400 up three down three and back up four so I, I don't even know what that is but it's a lot of elevation and we read the website wrong we thought breakfast was included but we were supposed to have eaten breakfast before we went so we started on an empty stomach we had lunch part way up and then to go to the second hike i had to skip supper so i ended up yeah, hiking for 11 and a half hours, only eating lunch. And then I got to eat supper when I got back to base camp after most people were already in bed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but all in all, what you see when you're up there made it all worth it, 100%. It was one of the most incredible sights I've ever seen in my life, if not the most incredible sight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think the best thing I've ever seen. Thanks for watching this video. We have a lot more ahead of us, so please hit the subscribe button and make sure you turn on your notifications. We've noticed like 85% of the people watching this are not subscribed, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the rest of our travels. <laughs>